What is up everybody, it is Alma here, welcome back to another video. And well, it's very early in the morning for me, but I couldn't honestly be more excited because I just got the news that Uncharted Lost Legacy has finally gone gold. Now, what gold means is that pretty much the whole entire team just finished production on the game. Now they're trying to produce the disc and get everything ready for fans to get their hands on it August 22nd. So, pretty much Naughty Dog just finished this. Now they only have to focus on Last of Us Part 2 from now on. And well, yeah, so the big DLC expansion, the standalone expansion of Uncharted Lost Legacy is now finally completed. I'm very excited. Of course, you know what, we're about a month and two days left away. We do know that this past week has been pretty hard on the team because they have been doing, like, you know, their traditional crunch time. Now, if you didn't know, Naughty Dog and pretty much most developers out there, whenever you get close to at the end of a project, there's a lot of crunch time, there's a lot of over hours, there's a lot of extra hours you have to do. I mean, it can be very stressful. I mean, it's one of the, you know, key qualifications you have to have for Naughty Dog is you got to be able to work in crunch time because it's very important, but... You know, we've seen some, like, tweets of Naughty Dog developers, like, you know, making a laugh out of Google saying Naughty Dog's closed today and being like, oh, not today, Google, we're still open, you know, on a Saturday or something, and, you know. You know, I'm very excited about Uncharted The Lost Legacy, and I kind of want to talk about, you know, my excitement for the game more today than, you know, obviously about the gold. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is a very different game for me from Uncharted and just Naughty Dog in general, because, you know, by this point, by a month before the game, you know, for Uncharted 4 at least, we got that whole driving sequence we got the whole demo from the Madagascar with the car. We got the whole entire, you know, jungle demo. And really, you know, we got the story trailer as well, so we knew a lot to expect. Now, Lost Legacy, we only have, like, a cutscene, a mild demo, and a story trailer, which only showed snippets. So, you know, things like what we saw in the trailer, like the car thing, the whole car sequence, that has not been spoiled yet. A bunch of Uncharted Lost Legacy, really, we do not know what's going to happen. And we only have, like, snippets to go by, so... I'm really happy that Naughty Dog decided not to show too much. We do know that on top of them going gold, a lot of press outlets like IGN have been able to get their hands on the game and do, you know, a little bit of playing in advance. So we're probably going to be getting impressions on the game from things like IGN and more gameplay possibly next week. So yeah, just a little heads up for you guys if you guys want to stay away from that or if you're going to be able to, you know, be excited for that and can't wait for that. So yeah, I believe some people, I think I've seen like two tweets already saying I played Uncharted Lost Legacy yesterday. Um, featuring these two badass leads impressions and coming next week so you know it's gonna be very exciting i can't wait to see what these people have to say um, as for more gameplay i hope they don't show off more because honestly we don't need it you know we're so close to the launch it's gonna be a very exciting time i myself will be in school when it does come out but i'm gonna be trying to do the most content as i can because obviously uncharted means a lot to me and just this is gonna be like a big release for you know playstation and just me in general so yeah honestly i couldn't be more excited waking up to this news was awesome you know i guess uncharted lost legacy launches in 32 days that's very exciting 32 33 give or take man just the things that i have to look forward to this game i just See a lot more mystery with this title than I did with things like Uncharted 4 and Uncharted 3 because, you know, I'm very happy that Naughty Dog is finally taking a hint from the fans and not showing too much because, you know, I get that they're very happy on what they work on and they want to show it off. You know, you got to think from Nurse Shoes, if you made something as epic as that plane demo back in Uncharted 3, like, it'd be very hard not to talk about it or show it off, so. I'm just happy that they're, you know, just teasing it based on tweets saying, oh, I've heard it's going to be the biggest set pieces yet and not actually show it because, you know, I really want to be surprised by this game, and I just can't wait for the game. So, obviously, you guys, you can tell I'm hyped for this game. Honestly, I can talk about it for all day. But mainly, I really wanted to talk about how it's gone gold. And, yeah, so, Uncharted Lost Legacy has gone gold. I cannot be more excited. Impressions are coming next week from press outlets like IGN and GameSpot and all those, you know, big ones. So, yeah, hope you guys are excited. Let me know you guys think about Uncharted Lost Legacy in the comments down below. Now, it's no longer going to be delayed. It's confirmed. Now, they can start working on Last of Us Part 2. And, yeah, the road to PSX begins. And of course, the road to the launch of Uncharted Lost Legacy begins as well, because that comes out in about a month, that's probably more important. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this all in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing your opinions as always. I've been online, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.